Tonight, a News 4 investigation. At this hour, 7,200 Oklahoma children are in state custody. These children are unable to live with their birth parents. They may be, end up being reunited. They may end up being adopted. Some will age out of a system that failed to find a forever home. Tonight, a nonprofit organization working to find homes for these children has been told their help is unwanted. News 4's Allie Meyer has been investigating. So, my name is Brooke. Um, I'm 11 years old. Hi, everyone. <laughs> my name is Rosemary, and I'm six. Breaking news. Today's a horrible day today. And tomorrow will be a good day today. I wish I could have had my parents there to kind of like tell me and guide me, but it's a hard situation. The Oklahoma Heart Gallery is a nonprofit. They run a website and a network of photographers who manage a database of precious pictures and videos. Oklahoma children who are available for adoption. To me, it's, it's really humanizing these kids that are in DHS. His dimples is what got mama. Several times a year, photographers donate their time and resources to shoot beautiful images. It's a twenty to thirty thousand dollar a year undertaking, so adoptive families can begin the process of finding a child. She found his picture and she said, "Look at him, look at this kid," and she kept talking about his dimples. D'Angelo was thirteen when he was first featured by the Oklahoma Heart Gallery. He is eighteen today. A lot of those kids, they look forward to being on that website so they can have somewhat hope. He'd been in DHS custody almost his entire life. In 2018, D'Angelo was living at the Tulsa Boys Home, his 27th foster home. He remembers the dream of adoption dying the older he got. Yeah, all they saw was cute faces, and that's what they wanted. They didn't want some old, older kid with teen issues and um, acne. The Coberleys found D'Angelo on the Oklahoma Heart Gallery website. If it wasn't for that website, we would have never found him. The Heart Gallery has provided this service to DHS for almost 20 years. Two decades of pictures, videos, website maintenance, and daily phone calls from potential adoptive families. It was the best thing I ever did. I helped a lot of children. Gay Larson is the founder, a cause close to her heart, as the adoptive mother of two teenagers who joined her family years ago. After all this time and all this money and all the work that we did, it's, it's mind-blowing. Larson and the team at the Oklahoma Heart Gallery got a letter earlier this year from Child Welfare Services, notifying them the DHS would not be renewing the relationship. The tone came off a, a bit rude and dismissive just to kind of have somebody say oh you know thanks we don't need you um it really it, it was a gut punch it, it never cost them anything we did <laughs> no nothing keep in mind this was a free service to find homes for kids every expense paid by the oklahoma heart gallery including a brand new customized website created at the request of DHS. Did DHS ever pay for the services? Never, never. You never asked? No, mm -hmm. never. The Hart Gallery and DHS are embroiled in a legal battle over who owns the rights to those pictures. At least some, some modicum of respect for the amount of time and effort um, and energy and money that we've put into this over the years. Um, it's not a small endeavor. News 4 requested an interview from DHS and a legitimate reason why the state would turn away free help. The agency offered this vague statement, quote, OK DHS has a goal to reduce the amount of trauma experienced by children. They say we continue to refine and evolve our strategies and partnerships based on evidence-based best practices. News 4 also requested 12 months of internal communications, emails between DHS administrators and outside adoption services. We're hoping for some insight about what went wrong with the Oklahoma Heart Gallery. It has been three months since our request and so far DHS has not complied and produced those public records. Allie Meyer, Oklahoma's News 4.
All right, Allie, thank you. Now, today, we check back in with DHS about the timing of our request. And they tell us they are processing our request and due to the volume of the request, more than 50,000 pages so far. They expect the response will take months. We posted their full statement on KFOR.com.